Ladies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Today we are here with another video with PR. You know what I think is happening? I think what's happening is because I'm doing these videos, I think more packages are arriving. Or I just wasn't realizing how many packages were still arriving. We are gonna get into it. You know the spiel, you know the drill. There is a playlist on all of the uh Okay, let's just pretend it looks cute. There's a playlist on all the other PR unboxing videos in the description box below, and everything that we unbox together is also listed in the description box uh, in order of appearance. I decided not to do my face yet in case there's anything in here that piques my interest that I can put on for the videos that I plan on doing after this one. Now, before we get into the PR, I am way overdue on sharing something with you guys, a little panda mail. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at its bubble. Isn't that so sweet? Oh my goodness. So special thanks to Janet Lehman. We have a friend, a panda friend named Janet, who sent us this a while ago and what happened, my son Mateo opened the package and so I was like, okay, how am I gonna share this in a vlog? The package is open. So I had it like displayed in my office and I was like, no, I haven't said thank you and she deserves a thank you because this is so cute. So you guys have sent me a lot of necklaces, bracelets, things like that, whether because you thought about me or for loss or whatever and everything is displayed in this office. I'm pretty sure I might need to rent a space <laughs> because I, I just, I can't, I have to, I have to, you know, in just in memory of my babies that have passed or that you thought about me or like little miniature cookware. So Janet, you totally made my day. Look at how cute it is. It's like a little enamel chihuahua and it looks just like Bobo. The only thing it's missing is a really bad attitude, biting every three seconds. So you definitely made my day. That's exactly what she said. Mission accomplished, Janet. We love you and I appreciate you so much. I also have this one that is super overdue. I think it's from August. And this is from a panda in Lone Tree, Colorado. I don't know what's in it. Okay, so we are documenting this experience together with some more panda mail. Oh, I wish I remembered. Uh, if, if you're still watching and you sent me these panda scissors, please let me know in the comments. I need to know your name. I don't wanna say my panda. I don't wanna say thank you, just vaguely. And I don't know why it escapes me. I just, I've gotten to that point in my life where if I don't ask you your name more than once, it doesn't stick. And for something to be this memorable, like these amazing, look how cute. I mean, it's, it's like a little panda. It's like a little panda helmet and the little scissors. And it's just, it saves my butt. They are so convenient. And I remember in her note, she said, keep them at the table where you film. Because I used to like do these and then I'd run and get scissors and then I'd put them away and then the next time I did after run and get scissors, and she's like, can you just keep them there? And I was like, yes, yes I can. And I don't know, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay, we got, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, how pretty. Oh, you heard oh my goodness and you came in here running, didn't you? Is that my oh my goodness? Is that my oh my goodness? Hello. Hi, do you wanna say hi to your friends? You heard oh my goodness and you're like on cue, doesn't me? I'm oh my goodness, yes you are. You gonna do your eyeliner tutorial today? Is today the day? Is today the day we're doing our eyeliner tutorial? No, she's a gatekeeper. She's one of those girls, you know, that we don't wanna be friends with, cause she gatekeeps. She's like, you can't get this pretty? Mm -mm. Sorry, it's my skincare. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about, you've probably missed a video or two. Thanks so much. Oh my goodness. I already know. I... I'm not crying today. <gasps> oh my goodness. Who is this good looking fella? Oh, look at this. Also, can you stop scratching? Because people can hear that. Cute pet pictures, like my boyfriend Max. Shout out to my boyfriend Max. He looks exactly like the Little Mermaid dog. He's he's one of my favorite pet friends. So if you have a pet friend, send me pictures. Look at this good looking mister. Oh, I hope it's a mister. His name's Buddy, so probably, right? Long time viewers currently watching your empties. Thank you for getting me through a lot of the past seven years. You're an amazing person with a beautiful soul. Love, Brenda. Brenda, I don't even know what's in here and I'm already like love tank filled. <laughs> so, Oh, okay, so the, this is like, wait for it. 
just... She's obviously watching my empties because she knows that this is the kind of person that I am. Wow, didn't they discontinue this? I think they did. I'll tell you a story. So I'll, oh, I'll make it fast. This video is not going to be fast. Let's just consider it a vlog. I'm sorry if you're in a hurry and you want to see the PR. Actually, if you just are here for the PR, I'll timestamp it. But if you're here for like the, the friends hanging out and chatting and all of the random anecdotes and the weird blinking, then just hang out. So my ex-mother-in-law and I are like, we text each other every day all day long, like about grocery sales, about promotions, about, she's like, hey, I'm at a Costco, do you need anything? So she is completely my surrogate mother. She is absolutely wonderful. And I think the most, not only did she teach me the value and how precious time is and how powerful forgiving and moving on truly is by showing me, but she is mom goals. You know, she inspires me every day with how just clean slate she is. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what the interaction is. It doesn't matter how she's treated or what she said. Every day is a brand new start and she just loves so ruthlessly and lets everything go. She just is a true inspiration of what unconditional means. And so she had texted me and was saying, hey, I'm at Trader Joe's. I know it's not close to you guys. Is there anything here you want or you need? And I always take that as, is there anything you need for the boys, right? I'm never like, here's my personal shopping. No, like, I'm not that kind of person. I wish I was, but I get a little embarrassed. So I got a little brave that day and I was like, you know what, mom? I, I call her mom. I was like, you know what, mom? Actually, yes, it's actually for work. And I sent her a screenshot. I'm like, if you see this, can you buy me one? But you have to promise to let me pay you back. She's like, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. She, she never lets me. So she went and she's, she's so cute because I mean, this woman can take over the world with her cell phone and like Google. And so she goes and then she texts me back and she's like, no, they don't have it anymore. I showed them the picture. I asked them about it and they don't, they don't have it anymore. So I don't know if that means they just, oh, it has a lid. I love that. Oh, this is, this is exact dupe. Wow. You know, I've tried so many that people are like, this is a dupe for boom, boom. I'm like, no, it, it's not. It smells good. And I want it all over my body, but it's not. This is exactly, it smells exactly the same. Oh, that's nice. It feels, actually, it feels nicer. Okay, all right, Brenda. Oh, I like that. It does feel nicer. It's richer. You know, the Boom Boom has sort of, it's very hydrating, but it dries down and it doesn't feel hydrating after it dries down. It kind of gets absorbed. And so while you may not have ashy elbows like me, it doesn't feel hydrating. And for me, if I'm going to put on like a body cream or like a body moisturizer, I do love that slip. Not the oily or greasiness, but I do love a slip. Yeah, it smells, it smells exactly like Boom Boom. Dang, Brenda, okay. It does not have mica. That's the only difference. So Boom Boom Cream has that glow to it, like that mica. I mean, a lot of us don't want to look like that. You know, a lot of us just want to wear it to work and not look like a sparkly mermaid. Wow, that's really nice. Oh, I'm so excited. And I'm like, not even <laughs> seven hours later. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Oh my God, Daniel is going to flip. When I pack the boys' lunches, I always always use little bento accessories like bento picks or little containers because my boys are spoiled. I just, I make their lunch cute. Not cute like how you see on Instagram with like the garmanger cutters, you know? You know the like super, they look like tiny little cookie cutters and you like do eyeballs and you do a flower in a garden. No, not like that. I just mean I hold stuff together with cute toothpicks. So these are picks and sauce containers. Oh my God, I can't, these are so cute. They are going to flip. I don't know about Mateo, because Mateo's in middle school now. And I always tell him, I'm like, should I stop? Do you want to just buy lunch? Do you want, do you want me to not make them cute? And he's like, no, no, I love it. I'm like, okay, okay. Oh. Choco stickers. Oh my God, I'm covering everything in stickers. And here's the best part, they're small. Look, I've gotten the vinyl ones on Amazon, but they're big. I mean, they're two, three inch stickers and they take up like all the space on my water tumbler. Water tumbler, my water bottle. <laughs> wow, look at, oh, he's sleeping. I love Pachaco. Which I look my favorite. He's so handsome. Oh, there's pandas in here too. Okay. 
I need to hide this sticker or I need to give it to my son and say you sent it specifically for him. Taco Monster. That's Mateo. He had, he self-proclaimed. Like he called himself, baptized him, the Taco Monster. How cute is that? Oh, he's going to flip. These are so cute. Look at this one. He's like, what's up? What's up, homies? This is a little peace sign. So cute. Oh, wow. This is awesome. It's like Christmas. How did you find this? If you're in Colorado, how did you find this? This is Mexican. Did you go to Mexico? This stuff is awesome. If you're anywhere in Mexico, the last I heard, it was either discontinued or they're not sending it to certain places anymore. Like certain retailers don't carry it anymore. So this stuff is magic. I am a fan of cleansing balms, but before I discovered cleansing balms and this was, I mean, cleansing balms are relatively new as a trend or as a popular product or as a staple. I'm not sure that they're newly invented. I, can't, I find that hard to believe, but to be like well-known, they're relatively new compared to eye makeup removers. Like those are and you, I mean, if you've been here for 10 years, you know my love for the Pons Biohydratante Desmaquillante. It is a mouthful. Yes, it is. Um, and that's the name. Okay, let's see. Okay, cool. All right. Woo. Oh, oh my goodness. We're going to keep this on our desk. Look at this fatty. He's so sweet. Look at him. He's so fat. Look at his big coconut. He's a little butt. Oh, so cute. I think it's a pen. Ooh, it's one of those like sexy Japanese tips, you know, where they're like super fine. You know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna put this in my baseball bag because every time we have a game, co-parents like, do you have a pen? I'm like, homie, you owe me like 97 pens already. Should we bill him, you know? So at first I used to carry really cute Japanese like pens, like Sanrio, Hello Kitty, whatever. Now I just throw in like a, you get the box for a dollar, you know? Now I just throw that in there. Still don't get them back. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at that. <laughs> the body wash. It's funny because when I sent the picture to uh, mom, I'm like, mother-in-law, mom, it's just uh, it's weird trying to, it was like, explain the whole story to people. I sent her the picture and she's like, yeah, the girl was telling me that they had body wash, a body scrub, a body lotion, and they just don't have it anymore. And I was like, oh, what were you like? Now I know. Thanks to our friend Brenda. Oh my God, this is so exciting. There's a little bit of something for everyone and a big bright glow. Sorry, that was my mirror. My mirror's like, aren't you gonna use me? Like, don't you, don't you know to do this? So anyway, Brenda and Janet, you guys are absolutely wonderful. You made my date. Look, at Look they can be friends now. They're so cute. I'm not gonna say the OMG phrase anymore because you know who's gonna come running in here in the all right, you guys, let's get into it. First one right on top, right off the top, right on top, right on top from It Cosmetics. I actually heard about this. How did I hear about it? It was either on Instagram or an email I received and it had like before and after pictures. And I was like, I think I need to try that. I think I need to try that. I think a lot of people that I know could benefit from this. So actually, oh, there's, there's a uh, before and after pictures on here. Okay. So this is like a temporary eye lift or depuffer, and they show it in real time when you see like the demos of it. So here's what it looks like. And basically it's almost like a moisturizer that you put on. And so if you wake up like this, you put it on and then after a couple minutes, I don't think there was a time lapse in the tutorial that I saw. It does say that you should use it regularly and you could see sort of reversing the signs of puffiness. But for me, I noticed that when I'm puffy or like Park Parker gets super puffy, it's either diet or sleep, that's it. So if I had super salty food, lots of salty food, same thing like when your rings fit tighter or your shoes, it's the same concept. You actually see the results in about 15 minutes. It's like a gel, you apply it, you go around the bottom and then boom. Isn't that impressive? I love that. So I don't, we, should, oh, we should try it on Parker. Should we try it on Parker? I'm not even gonna open it because obviously, you know, it's like a little, it's a little tube. Comes in a little box. That's what the tube looks like. But that is very exciting. I was talking to Parker the other day. I was like, hey, so I know you're the kind of husband that's like whatever makes my wife happy. We have a joke in the house because he's always telling the boys happy wife, happy life. 
and I always respond with happy wife or you die and um, they don't think it's that funny but I think it's pretty funny anyway so I was you know he's very accommodating and if it makes me happy he doesn't care like he lets me dress him and shop for him I honestly I don't think it's because he loves me I think it's because it's very convenient but anyway so I told him I was like how do you feel about maybe designing like a, a skincare routine for you or maybe doing some skincare treatments for you. I told you guys that he's been on call. He's perpetually on call, which means 24, seven hours, 24, seven hours a day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He's on call. So at the drop of a hat, they'll call him in and he's gone for a few hours. And it's, it's great because my husband is very accomplished and I'm proud of him, but it's also very hard on the family because he's gone all the time. He will be, he'll leave at like 11 and come back at 4 a.m. and then he gets back up and goes back to work at seven or eight or whenever he actually wakes up. So his face is showing the wear and tear of that life. I hope mine isn't. And I asked him, I was like, so how do you feel about, um, you know, that? And he's like, okay, it's fine. You want to, you want to play with my face is what you're saying, right? And I'm like, uh-huh. Yep, that's what I'm saying. All right, we got more products from Ciate London, and these are their eye primer and serum and an extraordinary brightening under eye perfecter in light. All right, Ciate London, what are you trying to say? So the eye primer, let's see, what does the eye primer do? It's the newest edition, Watermelon Burst Eye Primer and Serum. It's innovative. Okay, but what does it do? Brightens and reduces the appearance of puffiness and dark circles. I don't know. I don't think there's enough sleep in the world or water for me to get rid of these panda eyes. Although, they've gotten better, right? That's how they really look. This is my ring light, but this is how they really look. So this is how I look normally. I don't wear makeup every day. So if I turn, you could see sort of the darkness. Honestly, I just think, I think I might have like thin skin under my eyes and that's why they look like that. And that makes me feel better, okay? So we're not gonna open that, that's the eye primer, but I am interested in immediately looking at the under eye perfecter. Do you guys remember this? It was like super popular, these little pots for like the darkness. What was it, salmon? Oh God, I remember, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'm gonna go in with the salmon corrector. Who was that from? Who is the salmon corrector from? Shoot, that's gonna bother me all day. Cause I know I did it. I was all about that salmon life. And now I'm like, I'm all about that simple life. The less steps, the better. The easier the packaging, the better too. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it looked just like this. Look at that. So it's basically the concept of like a salmon eye concealer. Yep, it's the same texture too. It's like super soft. Okay, very hydrating, a little sticky. Oh, too much. Uh-oh. I don't know, guys, what do you think? Did it like, did it help or did it highlight them? Like, air traffic control? I don't know, I think it looks better. It definitely looks brighter, but I'm not sure about concealing, but I don't think it says anything about concealing here. So far, thank you It Cosmetics and Ciate London. Let's go with a couple of our besties over here. Fab Fit Fun, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me just have a little sip of my coffee that I haven't finished. We're gonna rewind and edit out those last 10 seconds. Uh, let's go with a couple of our besties at First Aid Beauty, is what I was supposed to say. Raising the bar. Oh, I hope this is for my back knee. The new kid has a squeaky clean reputation and a sensitive skin friendly formula. It's a soap bar, like a cleansing body bar that has oatmeal and it leaves your skin feeling soft and smooth. And then you have the classic cleanser. This is the uh, creamy classic cleanser that's safe for sensitive skin. Super popular, I actually used this for, for a bit. I wish I could remember, but like 10 years are a blur at this point, but I was a fan of this and I discovered it, I think through 21 Days of Beauty. It was on sale and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it and see if I love it. And it's actually a really good cleanser. If you have sensitive skin, it's definitely a sensitive skin cleanser. Very gentle. I would have to go, like I, if I need to remove my makeup, I definitely have to be a multi-step process. So it's not gonna rip your face off. And this is cool. It smells very clean, very oatmeal, very spa. Let's see what it looks like. Want to see what it looks like? 
Oh, look at that. It's like a buffer and a bar. What happens when you run out of nubs? I guess you just have bar. Then that's fine. Then you can use your own loofah. That's really cool. I bet that feels nice. And this bar is actually exclusive to Ulta stores. So thank you, First Aid Beauty, for that. You guys know what a black box means. That's usually buxom. All right, let's see if we were right. Is it? It is. Boom, buxom. They're always so sexy, like, uh, like unintentionally sexy, like me, you know? Not like, not like me at all. So this is the new full-on lipstick. I love that they put full-on on everything. That's what the new lipstick looks like. The bullet is so elegant, super, super pretty. Let's see, they are hydrating, smoothing, contouring for a sexy satin finish available in 10 intensely pigmented shades with a curved bullet. I have an aunt that does her lipstick just like that with like a little slope. My mom actually makes her so sharp that the tip ends up breaking off on her lipsticks and I do mine stumpy. So like if I put on lipstick and I use it a lot, like the bullet gets stumpy like a chapstick. It's, I don't know why. It's funny, what do you do? How do you do your lipstick bullet? Let us know in the comment section and I wonder if there's some sort of blog post or I don't know, a study that they've done about what it means, like about your personality or whatever, you know, like how you shape your lipstick bullet and what it says about you. All right, so we're gonna try Body Con just from the little picture. I have a feeling I might like this color. This is how I do all my decisions, like very, that's my assessment, that's the shape. Isn't that cute? They mimic the lid, the shape of the actual bullet. Oh. I don't know if this is lip contour as much as like a teardrop shape. That's pretty, should we? Let's see. Oh, that is intensely pigmented. I just want one swipe and I haven't even removed the top layer. You know, like sometimes makeup has a layer. All right. Well, the shape of the bullet definitely makes a big difference. I was like, oh God, this. It's kind of narrow, it's kind of thin. It reminds me a little bit of a product that Hourglass launched for a bit. It's not available anymore, like most things that I like. That's a pretty color. I think we're gonna, bless you. I think we're gonna like do our makeup before the end of this video. They're minty. They do have that lipstick smell, which I don't like. You know, that the, I, I can't even describe it as like paint or something, but it's not way better than other scents I've experienced, let me tell you. So this is the shade Bodycon. Very pretty, love it. Super pretty, so again, it comes in 10 colors. It is a satin finish. <gasps> you know what this reminds me of? That's probably why I picked it out. This color reminds me of Ex-Girlfriend from the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay collaboration, which is also discontinued. Okay, let's move on. Ooh, another black box? Do we think this is also buxom? I don't think so, they don't send PR that frequently. Or maybe they do. Okay, Buxom. New limited edition uh, scented fall collection. Satisfy all your fall cravings with this limited edition collection. From pumpkin pie latte to cinnamon sugar donut, tart cranberry fresh apple pie. So the collection has a lipstick and three glosses. Full on plumping matte lip, full on plumping polish, and full on plumping cream. So if you guys like White Russian, is it called White Russian? It is, right? So this is like that cream gloss, like a cream finish gloss. And this is the pumpkin. This is the polish, polish usually has sparkles. Yep, there it is. You could tell by the shade of the packaging too. It's usually a different color or the bottle's a different shape. And this is the Daisy Donut. And then this is the Plumping Matte. Look at the lid and the um, packaging. Pumpkin Pie Latte, we're taking this one out. We're just full on yanking it out. We're gonna give it a whiff. Full on. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what it smells like? Like a Hallmark store. Or like you're walking down the candle aisle at like Home Goods. That's exactly what it smells like. That smells good. Definitely smells like fall. Nailed it. All right, Buxom. I'm so, you know, you make me feel really special. You make me feel like I'm a friend and that is very rare in this neck of the woods. I haven't told you guys, but if you follow me on Instagram, I made a new friend and I'm so excited because, you know, I struggle. It's probably one of my biggest struggles is asking for help and making friends. 
and I made a new friend and that's how Boxa makes me feel like included and excited you know we had a baseball game against the kids the other day and she was like hey do you want a match and I was like are you serious I thought we were just cool but like that's like another level so now we're like bestie baseball mom friends so it's really exciting so shout out to Momo my friend Bren all right Laura Mercier Danny's fall fashion month essentials fall fashion uh oh my goodness are these are these that many like do I need this many essentials though uh oh let's see so the Laura Mercier fall fashion essentials are the translucent real flawless luminous perfecting powder is this the one I have but the one I have is it's a medium Okay, so this is the translucent version. Okay, you know, my summer tan doesn't last. It does not last. It's already saying goodbye. So this is definitely going to come in handy. This is a product I already love. The one that I've shown you guys is in like a light medium. It has like a tone to it. This is the translucent version. We also got the translucent pure setting spray. And it's in a little bottle. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's beautiful. I've never seen a setting spray like this. That's really pretty. Usually they're a little bit more like, I don't know, different looking. This is cute, I like that. That's very, very cute. We also got the Caviar Eyeliner Pencil in Espresso Brown. I've shown this to you guys before. Actually, it was in a PR haul. These are really nice eyeliners. They're very creamy and they are super long lasting. So if you have trouble with uh, finding a long wearing eyeliner, the Caviar Eyeliners are very good but they're not as good as my caviar sticks. You know how I feel about those. All right, these are the caviar eye sticks that I was talking to you about. We have dark cacao and brick. I don't think I've ever seen brick before. And you know I love my caviar sticks. Okay, these are both matte. Oh no, it's a little smashed. That's a pretty color though, so pretty. Let me give you a little, yeah, that's beautiful. Love that, so that's brick. And I'm not going to be able to remove that swatch until probably tomorrow because that's how awesome they are. And then this is dark cacao. I'll just open it and show you guys. I'm pretty sure I have like three of them already. This is just a really classic, beautiful chocolate brown. You see that? Oh, Laura Mercier, you know how I feel about you. Okay, and these are, I don't think I've seen these before, which is a shame because I should have. These are the Laura Mercier High Vibe Lip Colors look like that. I can't even imagine what the like what the actual presentation looks like. Oh, this is called Peak 103 Peak. I love the pink packaging. Oh, okay, okay. Love these little guys. They remind me of the Clinique lipstick shape. Let's see, Peak. Uh, here. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. It's like an ultra pigmented lip balm. That's what it feels like. The texture is exactly like a lip balm, but like full of pigment. Oh, that's nice. No scent, that's also nice. Okay, Laura Mercier, thank you. Ready to have fun with that stuff. All right, I need to wrap it up, man. I'm making this real long. How long has it been, like an hour and a half? Probably. Y'all know what this box means. We're gonna have some fun. Pixie Skin Treats. Oh, and it's purple. Dreamy Mist and Dreamy Eye. Hmm. We've tried these already. Oh, no, we haven't. I've tried this. I have not tried this. And look at these. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so we have the Overnight Mist. Is this that like a pillow spray? Um, I know I've tried these. I've tried like every color variety of the Pixie Eye Patches. The baby blue, the yellow, the green ones, and the pink ones. I think these might be new because I don't remember purple. And why would they send me purple? It's probably new, right? So this might be a whole new concept. I love just talking out of turn like I know what I'm talking about. Replenishing night patches and an overnight mist. So let's see. Calming replenishing hydrogel patches to help your eyes feel hydrated, soothed, and restored. And then sleep enhancing elixir. Mist on bare skin or use on your pillow. Sometimes when I open my big mouth, I'm right. Sometimes. This time I was. For this guy. Definitely not for this. So these are definitely new products. Hmm. Would it be weird to put on some eye patches on my corrector? Probably a little bit. I just noticed. It has my name on it. Look it. How cute. Oh, Pixie. Thank you. 
Danny is getting ready to glow. I love that, that is so cute. Love it, thank you so much, Pixie. All right, let's get into Pop Beauty. The last time we got Pop, it was really fun. Do you guys remember? Do you remember? It was like hot pink. Everything in the box was hot pink. All right, what color do we got now? <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's see. Oh, Pucker Up Patches. Sleep Mask and Pombucha Probiotic Mask. Deeply hydrate and cushion overnight. Hydrate, refresh, and revive. Apply a thick layer over face. A sleep mask? Okay, super fun. Then we have, I think they're just trying to like deck your face out. Pombucha Probiotic Mask. Balancing, fortifying, and soothing. Apply a thick layer over face and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, then rinse and wipe. Cool. I love the packaging too. It reminds me of the Bath and Body Works like lotion or the L'Occitan hand lotions. And these are just hydrogel lip masks. These are so fun. I love to do face masks with my son Mateo. Pro tip. This is like a pro mom hack or tip. If you have a kid that loves to be in your space all day long, it's fine. It's fine. You can't like remove them from your space. But if they're talkers, sometimes by the end of like the afternoon, not even the night, just, but just not even the end of the day, just the afternoon, you're like, noise canceling headphones, where are you? But you can't like mute out your kids, that's not nice. So you say, hey, do you wanna do a lip mask? You're welcome. Follow me for more life hacks. So thank you Pop Beauty for that. I didn't even know that I was on Milk Makeup's radar. So I'm gonna let you guys see first. Ready? Oh, guess, guess it. What is this? Oh, it's very fancy. How do I? How do I? Oh God, this packaging is so luxe. Oh, see, I'm like concentrating, so I'm whispering. Meat Pore Eclipse Matte Translucent Setting Powder. You asked, we answered, a weightless, talc-free setting powder that works for everyone. It's the newest member of our Pore Eclipse family that controls shine, blurs pores and fine lines, and sets makeup for up to 16 hours with a smooth matte finish. Oh, I love that. Slide on sifter, tap onto cap. They're giving me permission to dump powder into a lid? Okay, my makeup. Slide sifter, tap onto cap, swirl brush in the powder, tap to remove excess and all over under eyes or even T-zone. No flashback, messy spills. I think it said vegan cruelty free. Yep, clean, vegan and cruelty free. All right, translucent. Yeah, yeah, I know, probably translucent light. Oh, what? Wow, it has a little Look, it's see-through, so in case you're wondering, then you slide it over, we're gonna remove the, the little stopper or the sticker. Look how big the holes are. That's helpful. I'm gonna, oh, oh, I like how generous it dumps out. I didn't have to do the tap, tap, tap. I just had to. This is translucent light. Oh, wow. That is super silky. It does have that, like, do um, you remember what we are talking about? That, like, arrowroot flower, that cornstarch. It does have that feeling to it. But I'm not gonna know if I love it until I put it on my face. And just by looking down from what I put here, my skin looks blurry. Like, I almost had to focus my eyes. I was like, do I need my glasses? No, it, like, blurred my skin. Wow, it does have magic powers. Okay, I just love how easy this is. A lot of times with these like sifter things, gosh, they're so complicated. Like it's not super easy, it's not buttery, it's not easy to handle or to use. You could store the packaging, it's cute. But you know, it's kind of giving me Kat Von D vibes, right? Isn't the packaging? Anyone else? Is anyone else getting Kat Von D vibes? Maybe it's just because it's black. I thought milk makeup packaging wasn't black. Or maybe it's because it's the Eclipse line. Is the Eclipse line black? Maybe that's where I'm missing the connection. Oh, look at this. Hold on a second. Oh. 
that's a nice brush that is a nice brush all right milk makeup i like it i like i i'm picking up what you're putting down love it all right so if you guys have oily skin you are a fan of the matte look this looks super promising i bet you it's one of those products that if you go online all of my oily sisters have already reviewed it because i know the difficulty in finding powder that is that makes you look good when you have oily skin my mom has extremely oily skin and it has been like the fight of her life is always trying to control the oil on her face but i'm like at the same time she's 70 and doesn't look 70 so i'm like Ugh. you do get some perks with having oily skin so you might like that thank you milk makeup for thinking about me you're making me feel so special all right let's get into this big box it doesn't have a name or anything on it Oh, Lottie London. You know, I'm starting to see a consistency here with like the same brands every time we do PR. It's always the Buxom, the Pixie, First Aid Beauty, Pop, It Cosmetics. Did I say that already? Laura Mercier. So thank you. I love that. I like, I like our little girl group. Definitely. Lottie London. Love sucks. It's like a gravestone. Vampire Diaries. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, your eyes do not deceive you. That's how sparkly it is. Wow. Oh my God, this is so fun. Let's see, we got some nail stickers. Look how cute. That's cute. I mean, for Halloween, it's adorable. Look at that. Really cute. Then we have the Love Sucks Diamond Highlighter. Okay, so we're either going to have the surprise of our life or the disappointment of our life because look... Like, can you capture the S? There we go. I'm nervous. Or as Daniel would say, I'm nervous. Okay, I'm not, I'm not using this as highlighter. I am definitely putting this on my eyelids. Wow. Let me put it right on top of the blur. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's glitter. It's micro glitter, but it's glitter. So it's not shy. Can you see? I'm trying to, hold on, let me get close. Real close. Oh, I can't capture the essence. Can't capture the magic. Okay, there we go. You see that? Wow, I'm really good at perspective. This is why I can't do the achy breaky heart dance. You know, caballo dorado? Mm-mm. Don't invite me out to the dance floor. I will I will crush people. That's definitely pretty, but I would be like pop, pop, pop right on my lid. Maybe on top of a red lipstick. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm, that's definitely what I would do. But in Lottie's defense, which it's not an attack, but anyway, it's a Halloween box. So maybe I do want to put it all over my face. Okay, there's something in here. Did it fall out? So it looks like we have two palettes. Oh, and they're magnetized. Is it a heart? Or are they coffins? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's adorable. Look how little they are. Oh my goodness. A tiny little eyeshadow. It's like, how much more do you need, really? Those are beautiful. And then we have this one. I don't know anything about Vampire Diaries, so this is completely over my head. That color is stunning. So I am definitely Team Damon. Sorry, I don't, I don't know if that's a, is he the hot one? So who's the heartthrob and like who's the heartbreak? Who's who's like the nice guy that gets best friend, friend zone, and then who's who's the heartthrob? Who's the jock? Who's the nerd? Definitely. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Team Damon. Did I make a good choice? This is Team Stefan. Okay. Wow. This is blood drip lip tint. Oh no. Please be in here. Please be in here. Okay. Unleash your inner vampire with a revolutionary lip hybrid. This innovative hybrid. Hybrid? This innovative formula delicately tints your lips, bestowing a captivating shine along with the moisturizing and natural nourishing benefits of the jojoba and argan oils. Long lasting hydrating color without drying out your lips. Ultra comfortable. So is a, a lip oil? Maybe? Still don't think it answers my questions thoroughly. But, I mean, it looks nice. Look at that. 
That looks real nice. This is the pH color changing lip and oil stick. Oh, do you guys remember the black, the black blush? Same thing, but in stick format. Love that. And then this is a stamper liner. Yep. Look at that. Do you see on her face? So it's like a eyeliner, but it's the tip is cut out like a stamp, so you can put little stars on your face. That's really cute. That might come in handy for anything, you know, that's not necessarily Halloween related. I don't I don't know, maybe like a concert or something. I think that would be fun. That's so cool. Thank you, Lottie London. Yeah, they always have the fun packaging, you know, but did I vote right? That's all I that's all I want to know right now. Did I make a good choice? I'm worried, now I'm gonna go Google it. And the last box, I did save the best for last and I'm saying that because I'm totally biased because it's my friend Martha's candles, her fall candles. If you guys are new around here, you're not new. You know what I'm talking about. The good candle, my friend Martha has a uh, soy wax, hand poured soy wax business and her fall and holiday, like fall and winter holiday candles are her best sellers. I look forward to this every year. So if you guys haven't been here for a while, every time you see a candle, every time you see a candle in my house, anytime you, anything candle related or melter, it's always the good candle. And I started talking about Martha years ago, just by luck. She sent me a few candles to my PO box. And now we're super, super good friends. She is one of those girls, girls. She shows up, she, she, she says what she needs to say. She makes you feel better and she fills your love cup. So I am so excited about her fall candles. And you guys know the drill. If you shop from the good candle and you use the code Danny, you do get a discount. It is an affiliate link, which is exciting. I make a small commit, ooh. Oh, I do make a small commission if you use the discount code, but the other good thing is you can stack savings. So if something's on sale, you can still use it. Okay, let me just, let me, let me just get them out. She was telling me, she's like, dude, get excited because the fall packaging is so cute that you don't have a choice. Let me make sure I'm not accidentally getting rid of anything. Okay, good. She's like, you're not gonna have a choice but to reuse these containers because they're that cute. Her peanuts are dissolvable. So they are biodegradable, which I love. Like she thinks about those things, which tells you just, it's just a little testament to the kind of woman she is. So she said, they're so good. You are going to keep them. Like you're not gonna be able to resist to keep them. And she's like, put uh, Q-tips, cotton buds, anything like on your sink because they are stunning. So let me see, snickerdoodle. Salted Caramello, apples and butterscotch, look how pretty. That's pretty smart. I mean, she's wrapping them like a gift, but in the same wrap that's gonna keep them safe from breaking or getting scratched. Oh yeah, these are pretty. These are super pretty. I love how masculine they are. You know, a lot of times with candles, they're kind of girly. And to find a candle that's masculine, these are pretty. I would put these in my kitchen. Oh, yeah, apples and butterscotch. Mmm, that smells good. It smells exactly like apples and butterscotch. Apple pie with butterscotch. You know those little gold wrapper candies, like the Brock's that you used to buy at the supermarket by the scoop. These kids will never. These kids will never understand the thrill of like going past the Vons aisle and like getting a little Brock's bag and like the scooper and putting in some of that terrible candy in a bag. Do you remember the chewy one that looked like, like a Neapolitan? It was like chewy coconut. That was my favorite. No kid I ever met ever liked that one, but that's, this is what this smells like. The butter, the but, the butter, the butterscotch candies. That smells good. All right, Martha, love that. I'm in the 1% that doesn't like this. It's not that I don't like it, it's just not a scent that I wanna have in my house. I know, I know. When I said that to my friend Edema, she was like, she's renegotiating our friendship contract. I mean, it smells good, but I mean, I wanna eat pumpkin pie in my tummy. It does smell good, it really does. It smells like a Michaels during the holidays. That's a good smell because I think one of the most one of the most powerful things you can do if you're like a candle maker or perfume designer or whatever is to elicit nostalgia. So if you can give someone something to smell and it triggers a memory, I mean, that's powerful. And that 
smells like the holidays. I instantly think of like walking into a Michaels and needing to buy wrapping paper or decorations or something. You had me at cookie. Snickerdoodle cookie. I'm gonna have to hide this from Parker. He's gonna wanna take it. He's my cookie monster. Oh, that smells good. It smells exactly like a snickerdoodle cookie. Like if you go to the Great American Cookie Exchange or whatever, that store at the mall that gives you free cookie samples. Oh man, when I worked at the mall, I used to walk past that, the samples, too many times during my 15 minute break, let me tell you. And then salted caramello. Probably shouldn't have opened all of them because well, why not? I get to smell all of them. I should have opened all of them, huh? Oh, it's like salty caramel. It smells like Starbucks. Yeah. Oh, that smells nice. It said it smells like Starbucks. Starbucks smells like coffee. Okay, just take like a caramel macchiato, remove the hard espresso scent. That's what it smells like. Like caramel syrup. That smells yummy. It does not remind me of any kind of holiday or of, of the fall or anything though. It's definitely a unique scent. So to be in this line is kind of nice because it's not, it's not pigeonholed, you know, into the collection of like fall, spice, pumpkin. It just has a very light, clean caramel scent. That one's still my favorite over there. Ambiance. All right. Okay, so four scents in the fall collection for the good candle. Snickerdoodle, salted caramello. I'm gonna feel silly saying that every time because I say it silly. Pumpkin spice and apples and butterscotch. Okay, so my favorite, obviously, apples and butterscotch. Gotta give it one more whiff. That's my favorite. It, you know, it doesn't even smell like roasted apples. I take that back. It smells like a fresh, crisp apple. When you, when you cut it with a sharp knife and it kind of splashes at you because it's that crispy, that's the kind of apple scent it has, plus butterscotch candy. So this is by far my number one choice because it smells fresh and clean. And then definitely for everyone else, like the most popular scent that I think everyone would like would be pumpkin spice for obvious reasons. Yeah. She nails these scents, man. I don't know how she does it. Like, how do you come up with this recipe? Because it's an equation. I mean, that's a formula. My friend's smart. I love that. That smells really good. Anyway, so if you guys need to re-up, restock on the Good Candle, or you are fans of Martha's Fall Collection, don't forget to use the code Danny to save some money. If you wait for a sale and then you stack it on, you save even more. Don't tell her I said that. Anyway, thank you to all the brands who are consistently so sweet, so supportive, and include us in all of their latest launches. I hope that you guys have been doing so great. I will do my best to try and list. At the very least, I'll list everything in the description box. If I can find a link, I'll definitely link it for you because I know with some of these things like the Halloween stuff, they might just be exclusive to certain stores or in person or whatever. Anyway, I have made this video way too long, but thank you so much to Janet and Brenda for thinking about me, for filling my love tank, for everyone filling my love tank and making your girl feel super special. And I think that's it. I love you guys so much. And you know what to do if you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.